cells have an ability to correct proteins. They have quality control systems that work. When we're young, the system works really efficiently. When we're old, they're not. And it's not really clear why it happens. So one of the things that we have realized in the last couple of years is that while the cell has the ability to do the quality control system, there are some signals that comes from the organism that can change those things. So basically, if you think about it, it's like a light switch where you have on and it's like a very efficient system and then you have off and the system is not very efficient. So what we're really interested in is finding those switches and understanding how we can control them in a hope that we can trick the system and making it think that it's off, but it's actually on. Coming from a postdoc, especially transferring, you realize how much data is lost and how much data you can't really maintain. You can't really squeeze four years of work into uh, one month of trying to organize the data. I really need to have some way of controlling the data in my lab. I have always a vision of where I'm taking my project. When I saw the presentation of the lab guru, I said, okay, this is really what I'm looking for because you see the, the tree and you see the follow logic and I can see my logic going into that program and I can build it and the student can build it and from building it, they can actually understand what they're doing and which experiments is falling under which, uh, which topics. I like very much Love Guru interface. It's very easy to navigate in the site. It's very easy to jump between different things. What I really love the best is what I call the, the horizontal connectivity. What I mean by that is if you set up an experiment and you're using the same strain, you can connect to that strain, and then you don't need to introduce all the information. Again, you already have the strain in the database. You can connect to papers that um, are relevant to the experiments you're doing. You can connect to the database we have on genes. We can connect to the database we have for RNAi, for worms mutations. The fact that you can actually, with a click of a button in the LabGuru system, can see exactly where each and every tube that is important to your research is in your lab is huge. You know where it is. You don't have to wander around. Everybody knows what it is. The student just started yesterday and was told, use this antibody, can find it. And the students that have been here for a while can, can, can use it, even though it wasn't his project and it wasn't an antibody he was using before. And so once you work this way, you cut the time that you, you spend not focusing, not thinking, and you really push forward what you're doing and organizing it and, and, and following. And it's also easy to see the progress. So I think in that way, LabGuru is really supportive because it, it really builds that framework that a lot of us keeps in our mind, but it makes it very visual for the students to follow. And it makes it also very easy for the mentor to follow what the students is actually doing and keeping track. LabGuru actually went one step ahead and they connected it to, to the major databases of uh, C. elegans work, which is the CGC and the uh, worm base. And so that means that um, all we need to do now is introduce the strain line. We don't need to introduce the information and the information comes directly from the major storage information and ordering sites uh, for C. elegans community. I've actually already recommended LabGuru to several of my colleagues. And so, yes, I would highly recommend this uh, LabGuru. I, I think it has a potential and I hope to see, to see it growing.